why wouldn't he be? Aquarius, they're wonderful. Let's just look at the challenge before I can figure out what this means. Yeah. Yeah, this is totally love reading. We've got the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords. Okay. Um, so, wow. I think both of you are equally guarded. So somebody's going to have to... Now, Aquarius, you know that the Two of Swords is a stage card. So I believe that you're worrying a little bit too much. Um, you may be trying to make a decision. Do you see that gray flat surface there? That means that she's worrying way too much, all right? Um, and you may be trying to make a decision um, without using your emotion because you're so afraid of making the wrong decision. Um, you do, you know, you're, you're blocking off all your five senses because you want to rely on your intuition. Um, look, um, uh, it, this seems like a love reading. This seems destined. Um, if you're in a fight, call a truce. Um, for goodness sakes, interesting that I always noticed two of you may be just as stubborn, right? Equally guarded. Here's him on a cold, he's, a, he's on a stage card too, on this cold concrete cement bench. And here's you on your cold concrete cement bench. And you're both, he's worrying too much. Uh, and she, and you're worrying too much. Look, and this is what the universe wants for you. So um, the challenge is calling that truce. So the issue was... Um, you and the guy who's either too possessive or guarding his heart or guarding a secret, although I do believe he loves you. All right. Um, but I think you're both equally guarded for different reasons. All right. I'm not sure why you're guarded, Aquarius. I am really not sure, but that may come out. All right. Let's just move on. What's crowning your reading? <laughs> Yeah, you're afraid that everything is going to come crashing down. I don't see that happening. Because remember, this uh, position is restricted to your, your own thoughts and beliefs. Um, and you may want, part of the reason why you may be guarded is because you may feel that that secret that he's holding or maybe the level of possessiveness is just not acceptable to you, but it's not like Aquarius to engage in the tower. Um, I see this mainly as 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 your fear. Okay, yeah, good Aquarius. So your subconscious influences. You're borrowing a little from um, Aries here. Um, so you're going to get a little bit independent. Um, you're going to take matters into your own hand. Hands. You're going to take some action. All right. Get some mental mastery over this. Um, you may use a little bit of your intuition, which is great. What is in the recent past? Oh, Aquarius, you cut something out. That's the problem. You cut. Aquarius, a Libra could have been in your past, but I see that you cut something out. Um, okay, so the decision that you may have made. Hang on, let's back up the bus here. The decision that you may have made regarding this may have been to cut out um, the, your poor old four of pentacles guy here. That may have created a tower moment, all right? Um, and now, of course, you know, Aries is usually on their own. So you could be taking on Aries energy because you're on your own. Okay, let's see. This is going to be an interesting story. What's in the near future, please? Is this a Leo? Um, what am I seeing? I may have to clarify this near future. This set near future. Either you're going to tame the beast, you're going to keep your emotions restrained, or a Leo is coming in. I'm going to use the witch's tarot to clarify this. I don't normally clarify right in the middle of a reading, but I'm going to. Uh, can we have some? Let's see, there's two cards there coming up. I'm going to let them fall though. Um, you're waiting. Yeah, you're waiting on, you may have restrained your emotions and now you're waiting on communication. All right, what came underneath that? Nice. The Ace of Swords. 
So you're waiting on uh, truth, okay? I think you did cut the person out. You cut the uh, Capricorn or whoever that Four of Pentacles was. You cut them out. It created a tower moment. Um, you took on the Aries single <clears throat> energy. Now you're keeping your emotions strained, or he is. But now you're in the process of waiting um, for some clear-cut communication, I believe. Okay? Could be wrong, but that's what I'm believing right now. Let's see what your tools are, Aqua. Okay, <laughs> you're finding this very hard, but you're almost there. Um, whoa. Yeah, we got Saturn and Sagittarius. So Saturn is, you know, restricting you, but you're almost there. You're almost there, okay? Um, and you did everything else right. Look how perfectly arranged you have those wands. Everything else you did was right. So don't doubt yourself now, Aqua. Um, now, outside influences. This is very important. Nice. Nice, Aqua. All right, so we've got the Three of Cups. So we've got a celebration, camaraderie, people working together. Not one of these people is your enemy. This is good. This is good. This is good. little pause on the tape while we go on. Okay, so Aqua, we're going to go on to your hopes and fears. Um, so only one card came out here, so we'll tr hopefully we'll try to figure out whether or not this is a hope or a fear. Um, <laughs> okay, well, this is, uh, I mean, this is, this is fixed air. This is the Knight of Swords. Um, you feel like rushing in. You're worried you're going to, uh, you're worried you're going to do something hasty you won't you won't don't worry about that um also it could be your it could be your if you're a woman it could be your man rushing in he's angry possibly he has good intentions though are you ready for the outcome oh it's nice it's the king of cups so can you've got a king there the king is finally going to show his emotion i want to clarify um, this is a nice reading. So, Aqua, yeah, remember what I said about that instability? Um, you wavered a little. You wavered a little. You cut somebody out a little too soon. Created a tower moment, all right? Then you had to take on the Aries energy. Um, uh, in the near future, you know, you're restraining your emotion. Then you're waiting. For clarification, it's you're finding it really hard to wait, but you're almost there. And then finally, you find out that everybody's happy. It's a nice celebration. This is also a card of reunification. All right. Um, he may have come. I don't see this as you. He may have come rushing in or may will come rushing in. Um, or your fear is that he's going to be angry, but he's not. He's just restraining a lot of emotion for you. We're going to clarify. I'm going to pause the tape and we're going to clarify. Aqua, stand by. Okay, Aqua, we're going to clarify using the Witch's Tarot. All right, so we're trying to clarify that King of Cups there at the end of your reading. Who is this? And how's it all going to turn out? I see him wanting to work to build something with you. I see the uh, three of pence there. All right. Can we have an accurate clarification on the outcome there on the King of Cups for Aqua, please? Can we have an accurate clarification on the King of Cups as an outcome for Aqua, please? <laughs> is it a Capricorn? This is all good. Um, first of all, he is going to come rushing in. There's no doubt. I don't see that as you. I know this is fixed air. Knight of Swords. I'm not seeing that as you. There's Capricorn. And my dear Aqua. Oops. <laughs> There's your Ten of Cups. Uh, that could not be a better reading. Um, tell me what's going on. This sounds very exciting. This person wants to build something with you. Um, try to stay balanced. Don't, no more cutting off. All right. No more like, you know, 
Aqua, you are fixed here, but you are not cardinal air. You are not your sister. You are not Libra. It's not like you to draw your sword like that. Maybe something spooked you a little bit. Don't do that. Don't be afraid. Um, you're wonderful. All right, Aqua, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you.